Eyelash extensions can be very fashionable, and they are right now, but you might want to think twice about getting them. Emphasis on might, M-I-T-E. Recently, more than a dozen women showed up at Orlando's Eye Institute with burning, crusting eyelids, and doctors found that their eyelash extensions were teeming with mites. <laughs> Joining the conversation via Skype, ophthalmologist Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler. So, have you seen this, and what's going on with these eyelash extensions? It's caused by this mite called Demodex, and it attaches to the eyelashes and if salons are not sterilizing their instruments between clients, then they can actually transmit the mites from one client through the instruments to the lashes of another client. And the mites live at the base of the lashes. They actually feed off of the oils. That's like their picnic. And the signs of having this would be dandruff at the base of the lashes, or if you notice that your lashes are a bit brittle and break easily, that could be a sign you've got this mite infestation happening in your eyelashes. So people can get the mites even from something as benign as just dust being blown around because they can contain the mites and then they get on the skin and the lashes. We all don't have these mites, but we are all susceptible to them and eyelash extensions can increase the risk. I do want to point out, though, that these mites, the Demodex mites, are normal. This is considered a normal flora of your skin and your follicles. And the thought is that some people just have much higher counts of this mite. In fact, there's some schools of thought, and, and I know this sounds really gross, but Demodex follicularum is a normal flora. We're all sort of microbiomes. We have natural different organisms that are meant to live on our skin and our hair. But what's happening here is when people get these eyelash extensions, they're told often not to wash the lashes because they're trying to preserve the glue. And they're trying to get that full three weeks because these are not cheap. These are $300. And so when you don't clean those oils off properly, you can get a proliferation. You can get many, many more of these mites, which then leads to that dandruff-like eruption. But there are a lot of schools in dermatology that think that many of the skin issues that people have, like rosacea, are actually related to having higher counts or certain types of these demodex mites. I like being mighty. <laughs> <laughs> You're all about the microbiome. I know. I know. But I do, I do want to ask Dr. Boxer Walkler, is there any, are there any concerns with this or any concerns with your vision, anything that, that is of major concern? Well, it can definitely cause inflammation and scaly skin that could make the eye feel painful and burny and just plain uncomfortable. And that can be chronic until it's diagnosed and treated. There's also cases of people that just have poor eyelid hygiene, like oral hygiene. Well, it's eyelid hygiene for your eyelids. And those mites, I mean, it's like the perfect breeding ground, you know, chicka bow wow for these <laughs> mites to overpopulate. <laughs> So what's, so the best way to, to, if you fear you have this or you get evaluated and you just for whatever reason have a mite infestation, what's the best way to say au revoir to the mites? Even if you don't speak French, you can still get rid of them with solutions that contain tea tree oil because that kills the mites and helps clean the lashes. But also you probably want to consider a shampoo that has tea tree oil too because guess what? If it's on your eyelashes, there's a pretty good chance it could also be in your hair. So using that shampoo can help. And then also take your pillowcases off, take your bed sheets off, wash them in like hot, hot water to try to kill those mites as well because they could have gotten on the sheets and pillowcases. Trash your old makeup. And just a reminder, it's always a great idea to clean your face every night and take off your makeup every night too. Well, Dr. Boxer Walkler, that was a mighty great answer. <laughs> great advice.